Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now we get down as one crook check your one and only move swiftly speaker checking in for a daily move swiftly thought giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else it works both ways folks said it a thousand times possibly hundred possibly millions of times it's possible i know i've thought about it millions of times but i definitely have said it thousands upon thousands upon thousands of times all right teachers learn from students students learn from teachers it works both ways okay teachers learn from students the same way that students learn from teachers it works both ways it comes around and around full circle all right so today as far as today's move swiftly thought i have to give you one of the many examples for those, first of all for those of you who do not know i do teach at a charter school named the center for creative education right here in west palm beach florida which where i currently reside and it is k through five and man do i have I have quite the days with these. I right, have some rough days, have some great days, have some moments. I don't even, the thing is, I don't even classify the, I don't even classify the job as like, is it go by days? It goes by moments, right? I tell my colleagues all the time, you know, look, it's not about, uh, did you have a good day with the kids? It's about breaking it down into moments. It's about, you know, talking, you know, talking yourself through each moment. All right, that's how it is when you're working with kids because it is no death, especially when it comes to the start of school that I'm at where, the majority of the majority of these kids are do not have a stable house do not have a stable home don't have a stable situation with their parents in the home so you know again we're one i'm one of the few i'm one of the few positive positive african-american men that they see every day positive role model men type people that they see every day so it, it becomes the same way when it when it's like raising a child i don't even have kids of my own yet i do aspire to be a father of my own yet but i tell my colleagues all the time again this is this is prepping me for when it's time my time when my time comes to to have little youngins on my own i will be fully prepared because of this position all right and like i said again teacher learns from students the same way students learn from teachers so as far as today's most swiftly thought i got i got to tell you about a moment i had just this week with one of the one of my students right so for, so during there's like 10 like 10 15 before lunch we usually take the kids to have snack right and the majority of times most of the kids usually bring their own snack and there's normally this stack this snack that they bring in it's like a fruit cup it's like a fruit cup where you have the fruits in it and in the fruits there's a lot of the, the fruit juice so you get the juice and the fruit and it's all kind of mixed in the one so you don't have to have the you don't have to you know separate getting the juice and the snack or whatever it is i'm not sure if that was the the marketing plan behind the packaging of it but it it certainly works that way where you could lower you know lower your cost to make the product and all that kind of stuff right so anyway they usually bring that in and the girls usually ask me to open it up for them you know because some of them can't open it themselves all that kind of stuff so anyway i hate opening this but this particular this particular snack i hate opening it because every time every time i try to open this snack some of the juice falls out i, I never get it like <laughs> i never get it. every time i try to open up this particular snack you, you feel some of the juice come out and because it's actual juice it's sticky so i gotta go make sure i get a napkin and you know make sure it's wet so i don't you know so it's really tedious because i never get it i never <laughs> it's very difficult for me to actually open up the plastic as you open up the plastic and and open it in a way in which the juice doesn't fall out of the container right so here's what happened this week there was a particular student who brought this same snack in and instead of her asking me to open it instead of her asking me to open it she takes a straw she takes a straw and she pokes it in the plastic she pokes it in the plastic she sucks out all the juice first and then she opened it telling you man she opened it and then had the spoon and when she just ate the fruit and all that kind of stuff again man like yeah I, I listen these are the things that the kids teach you without have without even knowing it and this is what i mean when i say teachers learn from students and students learn from teachers very important that you grasp that concept because too often do us as adults get so stuck in our own ways where we're not understanding the kids are the future the young people are the future and they're going to be the people that you really need to be listening to as you're going out and, per and building your business building your brands because no matter what you're going to have to everyone it's going to have to put money aside and have to budget towards what's going to take care of the kids and how the kids are going to be taken care of. So your mindset needs to be, does your organization, does your business, how does it help the youth grow and how will it help the youth in the future and all that stuff, all right?
have a whole lot more on this. I have a ton of material, especially on this topic specifically. The main website to check out to dive deeper into all my work, makeyamove.com. That's M-A-K-E-Y-A-M-O-V-E.com. One stop shop for all your teamwork and your self-development needs. As one Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker checking out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.